Kelly review. <laughs> I mean, um, on to our next one. On to our day, probably the biggest one. So, um, how long do we have? We've got about 10 minutes. We'll try and keep it to 10 minutes. So, this is um, <laughs> Star Wars The Last Jedi, the latest episode in the Star Wars franchise. Um, I don't really think we really should need to give you guys a background, but this picks up from the events of The Force Awakens where... Does it really? Oh, uh, depending on the time, the, how the time frame is, <laughs> to be honest. Well, that is to be debated because I thought, I thought this <laughs> film was a complete... Well, in my mind, it's a f wholly solo film that exists on its own. There is very little relation to what happened in yep. The Force Awakens. <laughs> Nothing seems to follow through right, in terms so of story Right, before we go into the analysis, let's give a quick background. So this stars Rey from the last episode who finds Luke Skywalker, focuses on their training. But at the same time, the First Order, the bad guys of the last movie, have got the resistance on the back foot and they're going to try and pound them into submission and end their existence. So um, this film has been very divisive in the like, critical analysis. I very, mean, very. The critics yeah. seem to love it, but the fan score is absolutely, yeah. like it's like 50% or something. On Rotten and Tomatoes. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's very like, usually the fan score is a bit lower, but this is like dramatically lower and people are like yeah. campaigning to yeah. um, get this removed from the canon. Oh, but and and redo the film, redo right? Redo the film, yeah. So yeah. let's let's um, let's do the goods first, because you know, I don't want to be too negative on it. So I think the most important thing is here is the director, is it Ryan, 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 Ryan Johnson? Johnson? Yeah. He's coming for this, where J.J. Abrams was from the first one. Which I find a curious move. I'm not sure if it's because of his scheduling issues, but it's weird for J.J. Abrams to do two of the movies and the middle one is done by someone else, I think. I'm not sure uh, what the reason is I, behind I think that. that's fine. I mean, if you look at the rest of what Disney does in, with Marvel, yeah. the, the uh, Russo brothers did Captain America, Winter Soldier. I think Soldier. Star Wars because it's so intricate. Like, Storyline and plot are very important. With Marvel, you know, the Russo's do the serious yeah. ones. You mean in terms of tone? Yeah, Like tones of, tone, of the of film that you have to be tell. very... Yeah, 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 yeah. This film is supposed to be a lot darker. So uh, Maybe that was the reasoning. Because J.J. Yeah. Abrams can only do... Well, Red normally, what, whatever he does, yeah, is very <laughs> either very character-driven, yeah. but or mm. uh, for children. Yeah, that's where he's right. So positives. Lies. What did he like about the Last Jedi? Well, um, in terms of in terms of what Ryan Johnson did well, because this is very much a Ryan Johnson film. He yeah. he did the Bre Looper yeah, before and Breaking this. Breaking Bad as well. So he's he's yeah, got that part gritty, of Breaking Bad. He's done that gritty. Yeah. Side very much so, and, and you can you can tell he's got his stamp very strongly on it. He mm. may be he not he may not be one of those auto directers like um, Michael Bay and such or Zack Snyder, but uh, you, <laughs> you can, can tell, tell it's yeah. his it's, film. It's, it feels very different yeah. to yeah. Force and, Awakens. And I really. thought I thought that that in itself did not sit very well with me. I have a very distinct idea of what Star Wars films should be. To be honest, I mean, being dark was an issue. I mean, I did love the scenes between. Um, I mean. The whole Star Wars sheen and glosses on this, so straight away, I mean, from a visual perspective, it feels very Star Wars-like, so I won't say anything against that. And I love the scenes on the salt planet at the end, with the red. Um, oh, did you? I think it looked very nice, like, I think, yeah. correct, like, from a visual perspective. Just cinematography and Yeah, visually. from that, I mean, I think it made a nice substitution for blood, because there's not very much blood in, yeah. I don't think it's blood at all. You can't and put that made a nice blood, substitute yeah. for blood, actually. Well, that's a nice of getting around, it looked very nice mm. from that part of it. And um, the Luke Ray like relationship there was very interesting yeah i was tempted to see where this disc goes i mean where it went wasn't really what i expected but i think that was the more stronger sides of it mark hamill you know he's, he's great as luke he, i mean yeah. he loves this role i mean even now he's still engaged he still with talks fans. about it yeah, yeah, yeah he does yeah. harrison ford is like nah, nah, i, I can't care. be bothered i've I made my he, millions exactly and you know um but he loves it so you can tell he yeah. really cared about this role and i'd say the kylo and the ray dynamic i, I like it's something different like seeing who can turn who? It's not. I don't think I've seen any of the previous movies. Mm -hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars, but I did like that. Who will turn? Who won't? Who's going to get the upper hand on that? So I did yeah. enjoy that little. Well, you see, there, there exactly we have how things have become very divisive among mm -hmm. the crowds because everything you said you liked were mm -hmm. the things I did not like, mm -hmm. and the things I did like were um, particularly Kylo Ren's acting, Kylo Ren's performance, Adam whatever Kylo Ren yeah. did. I think Adam Driver is the shining star in this entire film, uh, mm. if not the film saga. He's, I, I don't know how he does that amazing acting. He, he must have many people telling him what to do. But um, <laughs> he just pulled that role off the range, like, more the than anything, yeah. any, anyone else in that film. Mm. Um, even though the others are veteran actors, I, I thought, like, Carrie Fisher, I, I didn't know if she was even an actress in here. She, 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 
in my mind she looked like she just woke up from sleep and she yeah, was she just pretty much autopilot yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just doing autopilot that's such a good way of putting it mm. because she was thinking well I didn't want to be in this film in the beginning but because they, I'm not sure they how much pulled her into this film I'm not sure if she now because obviously she sadly passed away so I'm yeah, not sure if they finished filming all the scenes or if some of your CGI no no they, they she, did she, finish yeah. all the scenes were done okay yeah, all the scenes were done and her scenes were very like eh. it's just like, and yeah. there's one particular scene which I'm not going to mention but it's just like whoa I mean, I'm just gonna say Superman scene, and you oh, know, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to say anything yeah. reveal anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you see, those are the things that get fans yeah. up up during the night because they think, "What did I just watch?" Mm. The, the, so we're not gonna spoil. This is not yeah. gonna be a spoiler. We'll do that uh, next week. If Eleni yeah. wants to be part of the rant. She's like, "Don't rant away without me." So <laughs> we'll do that next week. Because Eleni mean, has a lot to talk about. Yeah, this she's a proper Star Wars fan. She yeah. went to midnight screening and stuff. Did so, she? Yeah. Right. So well, I, I'm a Star Wars fan as well, mm. but not not as much as her. Yeah, I mean, well, I think really got me a lot on this one is it's, it's first it's way too long two and a half hours mm -hmm. secondly the whole Finn is wasted he's like John Boyoga is such a charismatic actor yeah. and he's reduced to nothing in this film he's like an errand boy yeah and they try and give his relationship this romance which we really don't need and his whole adventure wastes a massive chunk of the film yeah. like during like the main story where they're being chased by the enemy they just go away and do something else and it's just like really unnecessary yeah and that pff, doesn't work anyway so it's not at all even in terms of time yeah the time timeline they've got 18 yeah. hours to do something so you're not, you're not, yeah it's like it's this and act. they go into a different planet yeah and they they can they get they distracted whole, yeah, they, they get distracted like saving that planet yeah like then, coming up with socio-political issues and yeah, that's you're thinking cool. what are you thinking you're Sun you're become like about the other people are in danger what are you doing in that planet <laughs> exactly. and you didn't even do you, you didn't you're even do <laughs> what you're supposed to do when you go to the planet and also um I mean, the characters are a bit like the new general, um, what's the name, General Holdo. Her motivations are very weird. Like her, uh -huh. yeah, her yeah. motivations are very questionable, but there's no payoff. Like you think there must be a reason why she's acting like this, but nope, she's just yeah. doing it just I, to stoke I, drama. I, without, without spoiling much, yeah. I thought her character would turn a yeah, dark... Or something. Yeah, but something like a nothing. spy or something. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I hope it's not a spoiler, but she's not a spy. And I was disappointed by that yeah. because that's the only way I could explain her behavior and action. Yeah, that's why it's questionable. It's like, why, you wouldn't act like that as a leader unless you had yeah. ulterior motives. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. So, so was Paul Dameron. Yeah. He, Oscar Isaac. He was wasted in the film. Yeah, in the yeah. first film, he was a shiny. Uh, he was a mm -hmm. like a very. Uh, <laughs> wasted. In, in, yeah, it's he was a very inspirational characters. character. He was the best star pilot. Forget that man. Don't waste kind of phasma. They brought her back, and then like, oh hardly God, in yeah. it. I don't want to say what's up, but she's yeah. hardly in it. It's like. Because they said in this she'll she'll shine in this one. The first one yeah. she's introduced. This is the, in this one she's this is where yeah. she's gonna be like kick ass, but nope. Yeah, wasted. well, so I'm like, what's the point of that? <laughs> like, why did hype her up? Exactly. Hopefully, she's coming back in the next film. It has to, cause like you have to, yeah. You can't build up a character like that and just say, Mer. Yeah. I mean, there is another character that is Mer, but I'm not gonna mention that. I mean, there's a very big twist, and it's kind of like, wow, did you just like after all after everything in the first movie, you did that, you know? like that really i don't want to i'm so tempted to say it but yeah, you yeah. must know what i'm talking about there's a scene and like it just ruins the first movie like okay you did all of that in the first movie and now this happens and it's like what's, what's the point of the first movie yeah d uh, yeah so, let's not spoil it as big as possible. I, I thought i thought um many people have raved about mark hammond's performance mm. but i think he wasn't given enough to show himself yeah no, yeah. um I, I thought luke skywalker was very disappointing i was so disappointed I think this with what like, luke skywalker was i mean his performance is good but i think it's the fact his actual role in the film was very yeah yeah amazing. the character luke skywalker yeah i wasn't impressed yeah it's just like uh, he, he's not the luke sky he did things i'm not gonna say what yeah he did things that luke skywalker wouldn't do even though i understand he's now mm. a more worn character life-worn character he's seen so much he's disappointed with himself but even then, I don't think Luke Skywalker. One thing do. that they know about him is like, um, you, like they find him as like, I don't want to be found. But I'm like, you left a freaking map in the first movie to find you. Exactly. Like, yeah. the, like, that's yeah. not a spoiler, but it's just like he's like, no, I don't want to be. I want to be left alone. But I'm like, but you made a map for people to find you. Then you can't just suddenly say I don't want to be found if you left a map. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like that's what you can see. Like the two directors, they always had two different like ideas, and it's just like, you know what? Yeah. Probably one other thing is I just I just have a feeling that Disney said make this film dark because this has to tell you back uh, tell you back to the Empire Star Strikes Yeah, back. exactly. Yeah, and I think I mean those are the cop out. There's one moment I thought one of the main characters is gonna die, and I thought you know what I don't mind if they die here. It kind of solidifies there. Yeah, yeah, and they've kind of their journey's done, but they they even cop out on them like oh come on man like now it's just you yeah. know what? is this a darker film? There should be some deaths in it just to make it you know but. 
Exactly, yeah. I mean, I didn't feel, I just felt disappointed by it. I mean, it's like, I was with my mom, I was like, you know what? I just feel, I don't want to feel like that after Star Wars. Yeah. Like, after Force Awakens, I, you know what? I was really good, really fun. Yeah. You know, Even though I, I, I didn't enjoy Force Awakens as much, compared to this, yeah. that is miles, yeah, miles better. So, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with episode nine now. I mean, we'll see. I mean, because people are like, fans are outraged. I don't, yeah. And like, the critics seem to be fine. So it's a lot of, I, I feel like the critics have been paid off. Either that, or they <laughs> st- are so imbro- uh, into their nostalgia yeah. that they think this film is amazing. I just cannot imagine someone yeah. saying this film is as good. Like 93% on mm-hmm. Rotten Tomatoes. There's, what? There's a scene where they go on the alien planet and they're like, you know, like riding those horses with the thing and it felt like very, very Phantom Menace like. Yeah, goat, um, goat horses. Yeah, and they're like giving chase and riding. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, but yeah, that's, that's just, we'll try to keep it as true as possible. Next yeah. week, we'll have a full like critical analysis. Yeah. All the spoilers so a few a few other things i thought i would just yeah. mention there are you loads have one minute Go there on. are loads <laughs> of plot holes in the film yes there loads are. of plot holes. not just all. continuity plot yeah. holes but just plot holes within the film itself yeah as well as um subplots that are such such a distraction that and they don't tally back to the main plot mm. that you're thinking What's that should have been a different film in its own right <laughs> rather than that reminds me of like um, so when they're trying to escape and they're like they do something to escape I'm like why don't you do that at the beginning instead of like they want the resistance trying to escape from the first order and they, they end up escaping but oh like, yeah what yeah. they done I'm laughing like they yeah. just done at the beginning yeah. why, why did you waste like one hour of the yeah. movie exactly just, just done at the beginning yeah, yeah. but whatever yeah so I mean, it sounds a very negative review so how would you wrap it up and wrap it up I'm going to wrap it up with a few summary points okay, like um, I don't think three words is enough <laughs> no I don't think three words is enough for yeah. this because uh Good bits about the film is it's a Star Wars film yeah, that, that in itself will carry. I mean, this film cost eight hundred million to make. They need eight hundred million to break even. They probably will, to be honest. They definitely will. They will reach two billion very likely. But you don't feel like you have watched eight hundred million epic, worth of yeah. money, and you feel like part of it has been uh, gone down the drain. But yeah, uh, I thought direction-wise, it was a good film. Mm. Ryan Johnson is a good director, and his direction-wise, it goes. But I don't think the narrative and the plot lines were well thought out. Yeah. There was continuity issue, which just makes you feel being a Star Wars uh, fan, Man, yeah. you'd want you'd want everything to connect, everything like mm. everything to work out. There were things done with the Force that are <laughs> almost. I'm gonna say Superman scene. Yeah, they were almost <laughs> non-canon. <laughs> Superman scene. Oh man. And legendary. and. Um, they waste loads of the characters. Yeah. Luke Skywalker is wasted, Finn is wasted, Poe is wasted, wasted. Yeah. and they bring in Phasma new characters. Is Phasma is wasted. And they bring in new characters like Rose. Benicio del Toro or Rose. Fa- Bloody Rose. <laughs> Bloody Rose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, Rose. What a waste. Yeah, and a as in, yeah that's not a waste. That's a, that's a waste of time. That's a waste of time rather than a character. Right. Um, for me, I'll just say it's just disappointing. Yeah. It's like that's why I put my review on the blog. It's like it disappoints. Like you, you love the Star Wars aspect of it, but when you look at it in the nitty gritty of it, like you know what, it could have been so much better yeah. if they went a certain way. But yeah, before we drag, would you, on would you long, say people should watch it? Yeah, definitely watch it. It's a Star Wars movie. It's just an event to watch it. Itself. Definitely watch it. I'll say definitely don't yeah. watch it. Buy it on Blu-ray. I'll, 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 I'll say buy it on Blu-ray so you are not disappointed thinking that you will spend twenty pound going on. I, I wouldn't say it's that bad. I mean, you, I think it's expected on its own just to watch a Star Wars movie and it feels great. But obviously, don't I'm just don't expect it to be amazing and blow you away. That's yeah. basically my thing. But anyway, before we rant on for too long and it's nine p.m. and I need to go home. But um, but yeah, thanks for joining us um, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye.